Hello my dear Aquarius, it's me, the Sunlight Oracle, and today I have your speed read for the month of April 2021. What I'm going to do here is pull two cards. We keep it pretty speedy between five and six minutes, typically. Uh, that's what the people want, that's what the people get. We're going to look at the energy that you are um, emitting into your environment or like kind of, you know, how you present yourself and how you're perceived. Awesome. And then we're gonna look at Aquarius. We're going to look at the energy that you're subconsciously absorbing from your environment, subconsciously or consciously. Some of you are really plugged in with that, you know, the difference. So can we get one? This guy, okay. Hanged down, interesting. Huh. Okay, before I get into this, um, if you're here, if you like my style, if you like the thought deck and recovery themes, please follow, um, like, or sorry, subscribe, <laughs> like, subscribe, um, and share with a friend. It's the easiest way to, uh, support this channel and ensure that you keep getting free tarot card readings a couple times a month, okay? So here we go for your speed read. What you are putting out into the world is, like, you've been, um, I guess, like, kind of blessed recently with a new idea, perspective, vision. Um, I'm hearing like, especially in terms of like business ideas or like not necessarily business, but just like new paths in life, new paths in life is what I'm going to call it. And you're putting it out there pretty loud. You're, you might not be like totally disclosing all the details and information about this project idea, etc., etc. But, um, you're definitely like putting out some kind of vibe, whether I feel like it's on social media because so much of us live online right now, um, as a result of the pandemic, but it's like, people are kind of sensing like, Oh, you, Aquarius, have got something going on. And um, a common theme in my Aquarius reading is like, you folks are known for innovation and like forward thinking and, you know, progress, making progress and being the big idea people. And I really think that this year is when you, your um, thought process and um, progressive proclivities are really gonna shine. So here we are in March and I think people are finally starting to kind of listen to you. They're kind of starting to catch on to your, um, your speech specifically, your vibe secondarily. And also, um, again, this has come up in a lot of Aquarius readings from the thought this year, but for Aquarius, you guys are really environmentally minded. And I think like, especially if your pursuit right now has to do with the environment, it's doubly blessed by the universe. Okay. Just have to share that. But here's the thing. We live in a society where you are still considered right. Innovative. Um, sometimes that can be kind of skewed into like quirky or, um, hippy dippy or, you know what I mean? These like kind of codified words that really people, that means like, Oh, we think you're sweet and cute, but we don't take you all that seriously. And I do think that there's still a lot of that in this world and you are actively combating it Aquarius. Like, and you're going to have to, you know, that's just part of the, the balancing out, um, all the cynicism in the world with your like more forward thinking optimism. Okay. So no, it isn't fair and no, um, it isn't going to happen overnight and that, and yeah, that sucks, especially when you have like million dollar ideas and you want it to just go into effect right away. You're like, we could save so much time, money, resources, the earth, um, people in suffering. You, you have all these quick ideas, but what you're absorbing, you need to be careful because what you're subconsciously absorbing is more of, um, you put yourself in danger when you hang out with and associate with cynics and people who think it's too late and people who think it's too hippy dippy. You hear what I'm saying? Um, so just to be aware of that, like hold on to this beautiful optimism and these new intellectual horizons that you are reaching and trying to communicate with others. It's, it's a really well lived, um, pursuit if you stick with it. Okay. That's your message from your guides this month. Speed read ace of swords and the hanged man. We're going to also pull a card from my deck, the sunlight Oracle deck here to leave you with just a little bit of wisdom as you head back into the real world. Okay. Achievement. I love it. It totally, totally fits here with the Ace of Swords and how I see it. Okay, so the achievement that you get here is like actually like the manifestation of the idea. Ideas are wonderful, but we can't get very far with just ideas. They often have to be brought down into earth, into the middle self, into the lower self in order to 
it make effective change here on earth anyway. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be challenged this month or you could, I am sensing a bit of luck as we have the color red around here in this card as well with these roses. Um, I am in, in one way or another, like it's time you're being encouraged here to sort of manifest the idea into a reality. That's the other thing with Aquarius and the stereotype of the Zodiac, right? Is like detached, airy, floaty, up in the clouds. Um, perhaps, you know, perhaps it is advisable to you to sort of link up with someone. I'm thinking like a fire sign, honestly, maybe an Aries or a Leo, um, in terms of bringing your brilliant ideas more down on earth, less online as well, offline and into the world. Hmm. Online as well, bring it into the world because we're still functioning in the real world despite the pandemic trying to, you know, change that reality forever. Okay. Aquarius, love reading for you per usual. Thanks for being here and come back next week for um, 